This was weird to me. Let's watch. It's weird. Parched, nutrient poor landscape. <sighs> Terrifying. First of all, Paul sees that. That's yep. incredible vision. Yeah. It's incredible awareness. He's ready for anything. He's ready to fight at any moment. But I'm oh, I'm scared of bugs. Creepy. I'm scared of bugs for a reason. So like I'm not scared of bugs like I have to be out of my mind scared. But like I would like some distance between me and the cockroach. Right. It's not and a it's not a cockroach can't a hurt me. It's not phobia. It's it's a naturally like ingrained human instinct to be like something that's not human weird. Because you don't yeah. know what it is. It could be poisonous, it could be dangerous, I don't mm -hmm. know. It's just creepy crawly don't like it. Right. So why is Paul stepping towards it? Why isn't he leaving the room? And why doesn't the assassin send swarms of these? Are these like prohibitively expensive First, to manufacture? So I think Paul does not have a fear of response. Let's last this last little bit. He just he just he, no uh, reaction. Oh yeah. Like this needle thing in his eye. Like like this it's one of the most vulnerable parts of a human body, and it's like yeah. right there. And he's just like, whatever, it's fine. Like I don't feel anything. Like Paul, like, you need to have some type of survival reaction. Yeah, and in fact, maybe the Bezzy Gen Benny Jenner Jesuit and sure the getting ready for being attacked to death at all times has made him lack fear proper fear response like, like a healthy fear response right. so this now is, this is so close to his eye that he can't focus on it i think right. the normal like i think i think the normal thing would be to step back so i can see what it is right what even is if i'm not scared about it, i want to see it i want right. to see it right so i can assess what it is but he saw it before and it's got a needle he, that could permanently blind, blind you blind at best. Right. What is he doing? What is he doing? And then, okay, let's go back to what you said. Like, why doesn't the assassin, it turns out there's only one assassin, but mm -hmm. why doesn't the assassin just have two of these things? And right. then while one, one mosquito-y thing is like at his eye, just get him in the back of the head. Right. So Paul somehow knows that there's only one. He's not right. scared. There's right. like five. Right. right. He should be expecting a second one. Right. And so maybe there's only one assassin and for, for some technological reason, you can only have one, one seeker guy per, per assassin. We'll just put two assassins in the building. What are we doing? Right. You, you have them next to each other and they're like, Hey, let's go attack this one guy right now. You're, like, yeah. you're going to get him from the front. I'll get him from the back. Done. Yeah. And I guess I'm not seeing why a single person can't control a swarm of these things, but assuming that's impossible, you put two. That's right. Oh man, imagine if they had so they have enough tech to make these things. Imagine if they just had a little bit more so that one person can control five at a time. You, you like right. you like, hey, these five little bug guys go into this room and then you guys sort yourself out. You swarm attack, do whatever right. you need. Yeah. That's you could totally have like, undefensible. Yeah, you could have pre programmed attack patterns, for example. Oh, sure. Yeah. Yeah, nothing nothing fancy, just pre programmed attack patterns. And so if he's in this position, he is now getting attacked from behind. I mean, not many animals or machines would be able to attack, defend an attack from five different directions. Like you, you just That's can't right. sense that many things. And so, yeah. So somehow this he so somehow Paul's confident is only one, and right. somehow for some reason House Harkonnen only sent one. But they don't have they can't they don't I guess they only have like single digit number of these things, so they are really precious. Uh, very confusing to me. Uh, the technology in this universe is all over the place. All over the place. Yeah, in fact, in fact, gosh, anytime I go into a battle, I'm sending a team of these guys to just hang out in the back, send you little, little insect guys in and just take out people. Imagine if there's like a fight and people are like sword fighting explosions and nobody's looking for these little bugs. I mean, even if you were looking for them, with all the chaos going on around, I don't know if you could see them. These are the ultimate weapons. Yeah, you send like you have like people in the back of the battle, like behind stay in protected the helicopter. barriers. Just stay back the, here. Yeah, right. And you, they, if they can only send one at a time per person, uh, they send them. They just go pick people off on the battle. I mean, they're fighting with swords. That's right. Yeah. Even if like like later on, Duke Leto gets one in his back and he like can't reach it mm -hmm. imagine like the leader of the both armies are fighting each other and then your your guy sends a little needle dude to the guy at the back of the other guy 
and he's like trying to deal with yeah. it and then and then your leader just poke, 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 done well, it's even worse than that because they have the battle armor that could go in slowly you can only yeah. go in slowly so yeah. that the bug can get to their fast assess and then when the person is at at rest you just you just glide right in and kill Boop. and the bug is inside the armor now so it can go full speed slice dice juice them up Ooh. this tech what is going on weird, weird applications it's like they don't understand the how their own tech would work like they don't yeah. optimally use their own tech that's right well i mean they are fighting with swords so it has to be true yeah they, they yeah they yeah they don't have the innovation mindset 